Proverbs 16.5 says that God hates the arrogant man. God detests the arrogant man. The arrogant man, the prideful man, is abhorrent. He is an abomination to God. He will not go unpunished. That may not be news to you, or it may be news to you. You may be thinking, so what? Ezekiel 16.49, New Living Translation. Sodom's sins were pride, gluttony, and laziness, while the poor and needy suffered outside the door. New International Version. Now this was the sin of your sister Sodom and her daughters. She and her daughters were arrogant, overfed, and unconcerned. He did not help the poor and needy. Didn't, haven't you always heard that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed because of homosexuality? The word Sodom literally has been associated with, is defined in our modern English and in old English as homosexuality, anal sex. Have you always been told that? You've been told that. But what does the Bible say? Ezekiel 1649, King James Version. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness. She was in her and in her daughters. Neither did, I'm sorry, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. We have been taught that homosexuality is the problem in America today. We have been taught that abortion is the problem in America today. Gay marriage is the problem in America today. The man who can lead us back to God is one of the most arrogant, prideful men in the, in the world now. He is hated by God. We have been taught that God brought him to bring us back to him. That God loves him. He is an abomination in God's eyes. Proverbs 16, 5. Sodom and Gomorrah. We have been taught one thing. The truth is something else. You know that our we that people nowadays want their ears to be tickled. They want to be taught. They want a preacher. They want a church that reinforces what they already believe. Not that reinforces the Bible. Ezekiel 16.49, Proverbs 16.5. Not a church that reinforces the Bible. What the Bible says. People... Bible says, few and far are the people who will find the way to heaven. Few. Wide is the gate That's, that leads to punishment. Wide is the gate because it is wide because so many people are going toward punishment. If your church is tickling your ears, if your church tells you that arrogance is a good thing, if your church tells you that the sin of Sodom was homosexuality, not what the Bible says. The sin of Sodom was arrogance. If your church is teaching you that, I urge you, find another church.